I can't believe it. I think it's the curse of being an almost 32 year old lady. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a favorites video. I film these every now and again. I don't do them every month because I don't have new favorites every single month and that's okay. It just makes it better when I do film them because you know that that is something that I'm actually in love with because you know, there is no because, because, okay? Because I said so. So some of these products this month are makeup. A lot of them are not makeup because you know, I'm a multi-dimensional human being, okay? And I don't ever wanna hear it questioned again. So I'm gonna talk about all the shit that I am just in love with, things that I have just been head over heels for and just having a great time with. It's been a really fun month. And this maybe is like the last couple of months. So let's get into it. But before we do, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys know that I've worked with them many times in the past. If you don't know who HelloFresh is, they are a food delivery service. Basically, you go on their website and you pick out whatever meals sound good to you at that time. And they deliver directly to your door. In each bag, you'll have everything that you need. And then underneath the ice in the box is all the meat, if you get any of the meat options. This month, I did choose a veggie option, which you guys are going to be seeing here which is the grilled cheese and veggie jumble and basically it's like a grilling cheese and then a bunch of veggies on the side if you do eat more of a plant-based diet you have options as well and i wanted to try it out and see how i like it and everything is so fresh and so delicious we absolutely love it hello fresh is super simple so you don't have to be an expert in the kitchen to be able to do it it step by step outlines everything for you in the six easy steps on the recipe card that it sends with each meal you have 17 chef curated recipes to choose from each week and it's so obvious that a chef created them because they're so good and so unique and just the way the flavors combine is different than anything I've been able to create at home. You can really easily change your delivery days, your food preferences, or skip a week if you need to at any time. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. Oh, it's time to try, try it. Almost everything. It smells so good. I know. I love it. Garlic, cilantro. Mm. Think it. Think it. Okay, that's actually really good. Mmm! I kind of doubted it for a minute. I kind of doubted it too! But the chimichurri... Mmm! Dude, chimichurri, why don't we make it more? I don't know. No, that's freaking good. That is good. This is so flavorful. We're gonna mm. go eat all of this right now. Like, Hello, fresh. We haven't eaten today at all. I yet, haven't so eaten, so I'm like, starving. We're gonna eat all four. I'm gonna eat eight servings of grilled cheese. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. If you have the opportunity to get that one, please get that one. Really good. Thank you. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, I will leave the link in the description of this video, but you can just go to hellofresh.com and enter the code RAWBEAUTY80 at checkout, and that will save you $80 off with eight free meals on your first month of signing up for HelloFresh. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring the beginning portion of this video, and now we're gonna get into my favorites that aren't just food, but there are also some food, so. Get ready. Also, before we get into the favorites video, if you guys are interested in seeing this makeup look, maybe I'll link it up here if it's already up. I don't know what's going up first, but I think this eye look is. So if it's already up, well, enjoy watching it. I hope you like that. All right, so we're gonna get into the favorites. So my first favorite that I have to talk about, number one, <laughs> is this. Oh, dear Lord in heaven, how would be? So this is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. So you guys know that I have mentioned my love for the matcha apple kale in the past. This one takes the cake. I'm not going back to matcha apple kale. This is unique and so special to me. So the thing about this is it not only makes your hair feel wonderful, but the smell of this shampoo and conditioner to me smells incredible in hair. If you smell it from the bottle, you may not like it. If you don't like the smell of artificial banana, I'd say this smells very, very similar to like a banana Laffy Taffy. If you hate the way that smells, you may not like this, but the way this smells in your hair is something magical. Every time I use the shampoo and conditioner, which has obviously been every single day since I got it, Zach compliments me on the smell of my hair and he hates the smell of artificial banana so keep that in mind I would say this leans way more banana than it does coconut I think it smells fantastic I think it smells like fresh and like my childhood it smells so lovely to me and I just cannot get enough of it I have no oh my god I love it I love it I love it I love it but if you really hate that banana Laffy Taffy smell you may absolutely hate this I feel like my hair it's so soft and I feel like the conditioner is really slippy I just love it so much there's nothing more that I can say about it other than it's been my favorite I actually look forward to taking a shower because I look forward to washing my hair with this that's how much I love it it's so good smelling oh my god I love it. and it lathers amazing and the conditioner gets all the knots out of my hair 
I love. Another shower item that I've really been loving is this. This is the Frank Body Original Coffee Scrub. Oh my God, uh, stop it right now. So I don't know if you can see in here, but it is an actual coffee scrub, but I'll tell you the ingredients of it right here. Coffee Robusta Seed Powder Coffee, Sweet Almond Oil, Water, Salt, Brown Sugar, Orange Oil, Vitamin E. I can really smell, I'd say the Sweet Almond Oil, the Orange Oil, and the coffee. Number one. Oh my, it smells so good. I've been using this for over a year, I would say. I've got, this is my second one of these. I don't use it every day. A lot of people don't like physical exfoliators. They say that they wreck your skin. You know, it's as much as I know that, I don't care. I just love the feeling of a physical exfoliation. I know chemical is best for the face. It's still hard for me to care. I don't know why. I try not to use this on my face, but sometimes I do. I'll just be honest with you. I know that I shouldn't, but sometimes I do. And I'm not sorry about it. And I just love it so, so, so much. Because it does have those oils in this, it makes your skin sort of feel like it has a layer of, like a coating of something on it, but nothing makes your skin softer. And when I started using this was actually Actually, when we were still in the middle of renovating our home, I brought this over to my dad's house and I said to everybody, please use this. Let me know what you guys think about it. My dad was like, Christy, whatever is in that makes my skin feel unbelievable. And I was like, dude, I know. It makes your skin feel so soft, like, next level soft. It really does get all the dead skin cells off. Obviously, you're really scrubbing your skin. A lot of people don't like that. I like it. I try to use more chemical exfoliators on my face, but you know, like I said, if a little bit happens to get on my face and I end up rubbing it all in, I don't know what to tell you. I really enjoy it. Again, it's Frank Body Original Coffee Scrub, and the smell of it alone is just like heaven. You know I love coffee. I don't wanna talk about it ever again, but I will. The next item actually has to do with coffee. I don't have it sitting in front of me, but I will be showing you clips of it as I am talking about it. Do so you guys know I like pour over coffee? That's how we make our coffee in this house. I don't have a coffee machine. I do have a Nespresso. I only use my Nespresso if I need like a really quick coffee on the go. If I'm making coffee at home, I use my pour over coffee maker. I'm showing it to you right now so you can see what it looks like. I got that at Crate and Barrel. Before we were using a tea kettle on the gas stove and that's how what we were heating up our coffee with. But for the last few weeks, I've been using this brim water heater thing. It's like an electric tea kettle and I just love it. They sent it to me in the mail. I had no idea who this company was, but now I am hooked and I feel like I would recommend them to everybody. You, you think like, cause when I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't see what the difference is. Oh my God, it's just so good. Basically it's got a little electric base. You set it down on there. You fill it up with water, obviously. And then you turn it on and you press boil. And then within just a few minutes, your water is boiling, ready to use for your pour over for tea, whatever you need it for. You can also set it to warm so it can sit there warming the water and keep it warm for you. You can also set your own temperature if you don't wanna bring it to a boil. But the thing that I love about it is that it has this really thin pour spout on it and it's so easy to control. I just love the control of it. And when I was using my tea kettle that I would put on my stove, the handle would get so hot that you had to like use an oven mitt to pick it up. It would burn your hand many mornings. I was burning my hand. And this one is just like so foolproof. There's no heat in the handle whatsoever. I've not burned myself once with this thing and I just love it. I don't know why it's it's so good, but it's so good. And I really have enjoyed it muchly, bigly. Okay, so another random item. I went over to my friend Marie's house and we had the most wonderful evening of eating charcuterie and drinking wine. I stayed the night at her house that night and the next morning we woke up and her kids put on a little show for me and they were singing on this little microphone. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. And I was like, Marie, that's just the coolest little thing ever. Where'd you get that? She's like, oh, I got it from Amazon. And then the next week I received one in the mail from Marie. She bought it for me as a gift. And I'm gonna show you that right now. This is the microphone. And you may be like, Chrissy, how old are you? And I'll be like, okay, I really don't want you to ever ask me that question again. I'll show you how it works. Okay, absolutely shut up. Connects to Bluetooth and you can play the music right out of here and you can just sing. Right from your microphone. it right on here you can play it from here so this is the microphone and I just love it so much and I will have this linked in the description of this video it's really cool it's really fun it's fun to just have with you it's fun to bring around you can just charge it right on up connect it directly to your phone and then you can have any sort of song that has karaoke available to you on YouTube or any other karaoke thing that you can play through your phone if it's got Bluetooth if you can connect to it on your phone you're Bluetooth in and you can play it on your microphone 
It's pretty amazing and I love it so much and it's so much fun and there's Echo on there and I just love it. Thank you so much, Marie, for getting it for me. I actually bought my sister one for her birthday, which is tomorrow, which you won't be seeing this until after that. So happy birthday, Katie. I hope you like your microphone. So for a makeup channel, there sure isn't much makeup in this favorites, is there? I know, but that's because I gotta get through my other stuff before I get to the few makeup products that I have really loved this month. This is another thing that I am really loving right now and this is from the brand Catalina Crunch. It is keto friendly, gluten free, nothing artificial, plant based, zero sugar, made with pea protein. And the first time I tried this, I was a pretty shocked because it is very crunchy. I'm gonna eat one right now and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, we're talking real crunchy here. This cereal is made with a bunch of different vegetable-based proteins in here. It says there are 12 grams total carbs, seven grams fiber, which makes it five grams net carb. It is very tasty. I'd say it leans more towards the bitter side, almost like how dark chocolate is bitter. This is the dark chocolate flavor. It's not super sweet by any means. It is made with monk fruit extract, I believe. I don't have any negative reactions to. My friend Marie actually recommended monk fruit to me too, because I struggle with artificial sweeteners like erythritol, xylitol, um, allulose, malitol, all those ones, they make my stomach hurt so bad and give me severe diarrhea. We don't like that. This doesn't do that to me. I don't feel sick after I eat this. I feel like it's really good. You get to eat like almost a half a cup of it for that amount, which doesn't sound like much. But what I like to do is I use the amount of this that you need and then I do some shredded unsweetened coconut. I add hemp hearts, some chia seeds and almond milk. And then I also add in like slivered almonds and it kind of makes it like its own full like granola-y cereal. And I just co coat it in almond milk and it's so yummy. I love it so much. I would highly recommend this. I think I have a discount code with this guys, which is weird because they reached out and asked me if they could send me PR. I was like, uh, heck yeah, of course I'll try it. Ended up loving it. And then I think they issued me a discount code. I've never used it before. I don't even know what it is. If I have one, I will pop it here up on the screen. If I don't, well, I'm sorry, but I think there is one. I've never used it and I have purchased this myself. So they sent me one bag of it. We ate it immediately. And then I've purchased it myself since then. You can buy it in like a pack of four and we've already gone through all four of those bags. Loving it so much. If you need some sort of satisfyingly crunchy cereal, textured food and you're on a low carb or ketogenic diet, Catalina Crunch. Another thing, if you are needing to find something snacky, but that is also pretty low carb, it's not super, but if you're in a pinch, you wanna feel like you're eating crackers, all your friends are eating crackers and dip, and you're like, shit, I don't know what to eat. These are pretty good. Brad's veggie chips, they're kale, and I think that they are pretty satisfying. Like my friends and I all went on this camping trip together, and I brought spinach dip and chips for them, and crackers and stuff, but I wanted to have something for myself. There are seven grams net carbs in a serving of these, so it's it's not super low, but even eating a few of them made me feel like I got to eat normal crackers and it was kind of nice. I found these at Costco actually, and these are the DJNA Shiitake Mushroom Crisps. And these are not fried. It says here, unlike the standard deep frying process that is used to cook common potato chips, our superior cooking process called vacuum cooking uses a lower temperature to preserve the natural veggie goodness and delicious taste. This is basically just shiitake mushrooms whole. You'll see, I'll pull one out. I'll bite it so that you can see the texture. The texture is so satisfyingly good. You can dip them in other kind of dips too. Like, look. It's kind of like a chip and some mushroom. They're really healthy for you. Three grams net carbs in about 15 of them. So really low carb, super yummy. The seasoning on them is really good. They're really umami. They give you that really good savory flavor. So good. So moving on from food, let's talk about... Food. Okay, so this is actually the last food item I'm gonna talk about. And this is the LaCroix or La Croix. However you say it is the right way because everybody says it different. Cherry lime flavor, so good. It is the best LaCroix so far that I've had. It's my ultimate favorite. I think that it is like double the essence of a normal one. Like, you know, normally it's just like, is there a flavor in there? This one, you don't really have to ask. A little bit of asking, but not that much asking. The only thing is I would recommend not drinking too many of these because they can mess up the enamel on your teeth and I don't want to be responsible for anyone messing up the enamel on their teeth. But this is the best flavor, hands down, no questions asked. Cherry lime. I have two favorite bronzers this month that are, they're right up there with each other. So my first is going to be Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. Now that's the one that I'm wearing today. I love this bronzer so much. I just feel like the color of it fits with my skin tone perfectly. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's just kind of perfectly right there. It's not too deep for me. It just really works so well on my skin tone and I love this one. A lot of people have been using Into Sun. Shady Biz is my fave though and I love it so much and it's just such a good bronzer. I feel like it blends really well and 
and I just love it. Can you dupe it? I think you can. If you really can't afford it, I wouldn't say like save up forever to go out and get it because I think you can dupe bronzers pretty easily. I feel like you can probably do like Physicians Formula butter bronzers, very similar. Also, you could get like the BH Cosmetics contour palette. That has a lot of different like bronzers in there and I feel like there's gotta be something similar. But if you're looking for a good one, I really love that. I can't find the actual bronzer. It's sitting here on my table somewhere, but my table is a mess covered in favorites. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. You guys probably saw me try this for the first time in a video up here and you're probably like, bitch, how's it in your favorites? That was only a few videos ago. I know, but I'm telling you, I cannot get enough. I think it is such a beautiful bronzer. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. It's so pretty. And I just feel like I can't believe it took me this long to try it. This used to be in everyone's favorites back in the day. Everyone used to love it. And I always never tried it. And I don't know why. And I'm mad at myself for waiting literally like seven years to try it, but I have tried it and now it is a favorite. This is something that I really have been enjoying very much. Bigly. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now, if you have not tried this because you're like anti-Morphe, I understand. I think a lot of people are kind of like iffy with Morphe. They don't really know if they like them or not or if they're, because a lot of people feel really like sold to when it comes to Morphe. If it makes you feel any better, I don't have a Morphe code. That is something, if it is something to you. However, I just bought two more of these. I actually went into Ulta. They were having a sale. I got two for 22, I think. They're quite good. I just love the mister on it. I feel like it's got the most fine mister. You've never seen it before? It's actually an aerosol mister. It does have a scent. It's got like a perfumey, cologne -y, fresh scent. It's almost like you mixed MAC Fix Plus in with like a, a cologne. And I think it smells really nice. It's not too overpowering for me, but the mister on it is so fine and so nice. And the actual setting spray itself can really just liven up any like too powdery base. If you use too much bake, use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I just really like it. You never get those little speckles. You know how sometimes when you spray setting spray on your face if it is a crappy sprayer you'll get like dots where you can see where it settled in this you never get that with it's just such a nice setting spray i really enjoy it i've been using it like every time i do my makeup and i think it's beautiful this is something that i just really like it okay i know it's so stupid expensive and I don't think you need it. But if you're looking for a really nice moisturizer that really does transform, I don't know how it works. I just feel like the makeup application after I use it is absolutely beautiful and amazing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I didn't believe in it. You guys saw me probably use this on camera for the first time. I'll try to link it up here. I think I used it in like the full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I just like it. I just think it's such a beautiful moisturizer. It smells like sunscreen, but in the best way. I can't even explain it. The smell of it is lovely. I love it so much. And it probably is just sunscreen at the end of the day. It says here, Charlotte's Magic Cream Treat and Transform Moisturizer. I don't know how it works and I don't know why. It's the most expensive, idiotically, dumbly expensive thing that I own in makeup. I think that it's maybe worth getting a sample of, see if it actually changes your mind. If not, and you're looking for a really good moisturizer that's not nearly that expensive, but is still kind of expensive. And when I say kind of, I mean like is very expensive is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. It's a lovely cream. It's very different though. They're two very different things. The Charlotte Tilbury is like a super moisturizing, I mean, they both are, but that one feels more like a lotion-y cream versus the Tatcha feels like oily, super hydrating. I can't even explain it. They're so different. I couldn't even compare the two. Get a sample of both. Try going into Sephora and seeing if you can get a sample of both. Screw it. If they'll give you samples, take the samples. That's what I always recommend, but I really like both. I've been using the Charlotte lately because it's sitting in front of me. Love the Tatcha. The Tatcha has such an amazing smell as well. Tatcha products have that very specific scent. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. If you know, then you know. And it's such a lovely smell, but I really like this one so much. I like them both, frankly. I feel like they're both wonderful. If I had to pick one over the other, I think I picked the Tatcha just merely because the Charlotte Tilbury is way too expensive. The Charlotte Tilbury needs to be half the price of what it is. That's insane. There's no way the ingredients in it would justify that price ever. So, but it is still nice. I'm sorry. The Duo Lash Adhesive in the Brush On, and it's this one, it's like the white, and it kind of looks like iridescent or like bluey, and as it's drying, it kind of changes colors. I love this lash glue. I feel like my lashes stay on amazingly with it. I'm back on Duo. I had switched around to a whole bunch of different lash glues. I didn't know which one I loved, and then I went back to Duo. And the thing I didn't like about Duo is that I don't like the squeezy tube one because it just gets messy. I lose the cap, it gets everywhere. Traveling with it's a pain in the ass. Get the Brush On one. It is so great, I love it so much. Much. I'll never go back. Honestly, I think this is probably gonna be my holy grail lash glue. I feel like it just works really, really good. And I really, really love it. That's the that on that. Oh, maybe that wasn't my last food thing. I have another food thing. Ooh, I have another food thing. That's it for my makeup. I think that I've been like, oh no, 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 one more thing.
You guys know my love for this. Need I say much? I'm going to anyway. The Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation and Concealer. This is, I would say, of the year or of my life. It's my favorite foundation I think that I've ever tried. It is so beautiful. It's got like a really natural finish to it. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy. It's not too anything, but it is the fullest of coverage. It's so full coverage that it can cover the reddest of red. It could cover anything. It can cover anything. My super red skin after I use like heating packs on my face, covered all of it. It's got a beautiful finish to it. It comes in a hundred shades, which is the most of any foundation out there. There's a great variety of shades too. It's not just like a hundred random crappy shitty ass shades out there. No, you've got golden, neutral, and pink. I feel like it's super easy to find my shade. I like to sit in the MN range. So I'm medium neutral, four, five, six, seven. I can kind of wear any of those and they're a little bit deeper than my skin, but they just look so lovely. Flawless finish lasts me all day. It doesn't get too dewy, doesn't get too matte. It's literally the perfect foundation in my opinion. Not only does it have a pump, but it also has a doe foot applicator when you pull out here, because again, it is a foundation and concealer in one. It's just lovely. It's not what I'm wearing today. I'm actually doing a foundation wear test and review on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. So you'll see that coming soon. I honestly just love this foundation. I think it is truly, if you haven't tried it, I think you need to try it. If you have skin concerns, if you have acne, if you have redness, rosacea, I truly think it will cover it. And it's just very, the fullest coverage foundation with just for me at least, I feel like nothing can compare and everything now I compare to that. I think it'll be my holy grail foundation because it's that good and that's how much I love it. I also feel like I haven't tried it yet but maybe it could be a good mixing foundation. Like if maybe one day you want lighter coverage, you can mix it in with moisturizer or maybe you have a foundation that's a little more dewy and you wanna make it like that. Maybe you could mix it. I haven't tried that yet so I can't speak to it but I mean, what's it gonna hurt? So I'm not a drinker, okay? I'm really not, I'm not a drinker but lately I've, really been getting the urge to drink wine. And I really just want it every day. I want wine and I can't believe it. I think it's the curse of being an almost 32 year old lady. And I think that really is what it comes down to. I'm 31, okay, not 32 yet, but very soon. And I just want wine. I want it all the time. And we were in Leavenworth, which I talked about in a chit chat, get ready with me. I'll put it up right here. We were in Leavenworth, which is like this amazing postcard Christmas town in Washington, but it wasn't Christmassy when we were there. It was just lovely. And I brought wine, a lot of it, like six bottles. I only drank two of them, but that was plenty. I was absolutely hammered. <laughs> but the first wine was a vino and it was a Pinot Grigio. And that was all right. I like a really non-sweet wine initially because sweet wines really just, blah, I think they're just a little too sweet for me. However, when I got a little bit too tipsy on wine, I drank a second bottle of wine. Yes, I was absolutely hammered and I don't really know to talk about it because I don't remember a lot of what happened that night, but it was a really good time. I had this wine that was called Pacific Rim Riesling. God damn sweet Riesling. It is so delicious. I think I might go buy a bottle of it tonight. Not even kidding. That's how good this wine was. Just delicious. Just lovely. I'm really into wine. I bought these really beautiful long stem wine glasses. I'm enjoying drinking wine very much. I am a 32 year old lady in my heart and I really love it and I don't even care. Basically what happened was I went to my friend's house and we had a bunch of charcuterie. Talked about it earlier when we were talking about this and I was telling you about the microphone. We had some charcuterie, we had some delicious cheeses and we also bought some wines. And that is when my love of wine started. And I've had it many times since then and very much enjoy it. Not into the reds yet, still into the whites, but I think I'll get there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get there. And I think this is my final love of this month. It's not makeup. <laughs> It's not, it's a game. And this game is called Avalon. We played it when we went on that trip with my friends and it was one of the funnest times of my life. It was so fun. Basically the game is, and I'll try to explain it to you as best I can. You are, and however many people you have, everybody draws a card and everyone closes their eyes. And then the game master, whoever says, anyone who got a bad guy on your card are the only ones to open your eyes. Everyone else leaves their eyes closed. So the bad guys open their eyes and they look around and they acknowledge each other. And you're like, I'm a bad guy. So everyone closes their eyes and then everyone opens up the same time. So only the bad guys know who the other bad guy is. Everyone else has no idea. So you've got your cards and you've got quests that you have to go on. And so each person, you know, you start with one person and that person has to pick like two other people to go on the quest with them. And you want to win the quest. So you have a card that's like a win or a lose. And if you're a bad guy, you want the quest to lose because you're bad. So basically it's like a game of trust and 
you want to win the quest if you're good, like you really want to win. So if you're good, you have to put down a win. If you're bad, you can put down either. And the only reason you would want to put down either, like you might want to put down a good one is to fake people out to make them think that you're good when you're actually bad. Anyway, it's so fun. You have no idea who the bad guys are. You're like looking around, you're pointing at everyone. It's like one of those moments where you're like, it's you, it's you, no, it's you. You have no idea who it is. And like you pick quests to go on with people. And at the end, the goal of the bad guys is to make the quest fail. If you get three out of five fails, you failed. If you get three out of five wins, you've won. It's so fun. It's the best game. It doesn't seem that fun when you look at the box because the drawings on it make you think that you're playing a different kind of game than you are. It's so fun. We had so much fun. We were like screaming and oh my God, it's like a game where you really don't know who to trust. Like you were looking around and you're like, I do not you are bad. I can tell you are bad. And sometimes you were totally right. Sometimes you were totally wrong. It's just the funnest. It's a great game. Loved it so much. Everything that I talked about in this video, I will have linked in the description if you guys are interested. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, I will have the link for them as well down below. But don't forget, you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use code RAWBEAUTY80 at checkout. And that will save you $80 off or eight free meals with your first month signing up with HelloFresh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found some new products that might interest you and maybe things that you guys have wanted to try out. This is kind of my random picks with food, with fun, and everything that I have been loving lately. I'm sure I left some things out. If I did, you may see me in a different outfit coming up to talk about it, but maybe not. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you at my next video. quite shiny. Okay, this is the orangest I've ever been. I'm orange. I have about had it with this orange nonsensical nonsense. Still orange. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it. Well, maybe I do, because I did. <laughs> oh my God, there's like a cat hair in my nose. That little, you know, I'm showing it to you right now. But the thing... Just go, just go. And they... because erythritol, xylitol, all those things. Am I orange? No. No? It's like one. The Charlotte... It's just... It... it I... I... I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Is that everything? I really think it is. Not everything is makeup.